Hello. In the previous session, we had seen confidentiality from our CIA triad. Well, in this session, we're gonna understand integrity and availability, both things at the time. So you see that what integrity says, integrity says that only a legitimate user can, can modify the original file. So if this is my source file, uh, not only source file, any file, and it is written by some person if this is that person who is the owner of this source file then he is the only person who can modify things okay other than other than that no one can write anything inside the source file it's not it's not uh, you know the thing that happens in integrity otherwise you are not uh, not owning this integrity part right so only a real owner of the source file gonna modify the things and no one other than that right so now let's understand what exactly happens uh, in integrity now let's say that there is I'm gonna take another analogy here so what will happen so let's say that uh, if there is a person let, let me take a complete uh, uh, so I think I had uh, yeah I guess now this is fine so let's say that there is a person who is the real owner so let's say this is Alice this is Alice and he's the real owner, right? So he's owning a file known as he had developed a file. So let's say he had developed Kelsey.c. So it's an application. So I, I can write Kelsey.exe, no problem. So he had developed a calculator. This is a Kelsey.exe. He developed it. Right? And once it developed, he gonna he gonna upload it to the internet so if this is an internet this is a distributed system he gonna upload it so here now inside this internet we have among several programs we have kelsey.exe setting here right so he is uploaded here okay so this is a thing now now kelsey dot kelsey.exe is now on the internet now what will happen the thing is a person just like me another person comes here it's a bob okay it's a bob the thing is he needs this calculator program from the internet so he's gonna search in his browser that uh, that i want kelsey.exe and internet will respond it back uh, from a website so let's say he requests to the internet and internet responded back with a program known as kelsey.exe Okay, this is the program that this Bob needs it. Now, Kelsey.exe is now here in the Bob computer. But now, Bob has no measure. I mean, he cannot measure that Kelsey.exe is completely secure or not, right? He, he, he do not know. Now, what will happen is somehow that uh, from the internet, some other person comes up and this is the attacker. This is our third person. Now, what he did exactly, he just take this kelsey.exe he just downloaded it and in his computer he modified it ah, there are reverse engineering and things stuff like that we have now in the market so he had modified this kelsey.exe he modified it and then re-uploaded it to the internet to the same uh, website or maybe any website he had modified it and now there is a different kelsey.exe instead of kelsey.exe now we have modify kelsey.exe so before you know before downloading by this bob now, now bob doesn't have the you know original kelsey.exe now he has a modify kelsey.exe okay things like that now the analogy is modify kelsey.exe is now with the bob so he's having this modify kelsey.exe so when this you know modification done by this attacker this modification is not like simple modification he had included some uh, malicious code here include malicious code and you do not know about it right you just uh, have an idea that this is a simple calculator program and I want it right but this attacker had include some malicious code inside the real code and you are just you are just installing this kelsey.exe and eventually you are infected with the virus because there is a malicious code right so you're infected with the virus so there is a violation 
of integrity because the real owner had not uh, you know done any modification in the kelsey.exe but instead an attacker had uh, you know uh, had modified the kelsey.exe and that's why the things happen happen this is infected by virus not only virus but anything like trojan or ransomware or something like that so i can write infected by malware for simplicity so uh, this is a violation of integrity here uh, so things like things like this happens every time uh, we, uh, if we do not, uh, you know, check, if we do not have any measure uh, to see that Kelsey.exe has been modified by the real owner or not. So, here is the thing. This is uh, uh, going to be resolved by something called as hashing. Now, hashing is a technology, not technology, I can say it's a method by which you can, by which you can know that Kelsey.exe has been modified or not, okay by so somehow if you if bob understand that uh, uh, that the kelsey.exe which i want is not that okay it has been modified by someone then bob will not install this kelsey doc kelsey.exe not even down uh, not even install but it will not download it right so this is this hashing will tell you that uh, the uh, kelsey.exe or any program has been modified or not and how it how exactly hashing works it's a very simple thing it's a one way function basically so it's a one way function uh, so the idea here is if we have uh, two prime numbers let's say 22 i do not know if this prime or not but i'm just taking the uh, example here 22 cross 37 i do not know the uh, result uh, so uh, if i have lc here right so sorry i'm very bad at the mathematics so if i just say 22 cross uh, 37 it gives me a result of oh, i'm so sorry i think uh, i just had changed the standard thing 22 cross 37 it results to 814 now i'm gonna close it so see the result is 814 so you see that this number the result this number is basically your hashing okay so it's a one way function you will get 814 but you will never know by which two numbers you will get this 814 so it's a one way function you cannot you cannot reverse it okay you, you never know that what, which two numbers uh, multiplied and get the 814 so that's why it is very very uh, you know important uh, important uh, method in the cyber security so uh, now how exactly things will work with the help of integrity you see that uh, 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 so if again i'm gonna take the analogy the same analogy uh, see the we have a real owner here elias uh, and he had uh, uploaded the same kelsey.exe to the internet kelsey.exe here it is on the internet Or I can say on web so now this is uploaded so you see that when he is uploading the thing I mean he when he is developing the Kelsey.exe he is not just uh, developing but he is also appending something called as hash here okay so uploaded plus hash so now it is not only Kelsey Kelsey.exe but there is something called as hash is appended uh, to this file so we have two things with this file one is kelsey.exe and one is hash now he had cal alice, alice has uh, calculated this hash and attached to this kelsey.exe now what will happen if somehow if somehow an attacker takes this kelsey.exe because uh, this is the thing generally attacker does he will modify the things right it's simple thing modify kelsey.exe now what will happen so let's say let's assume that here uh, the hash is one two three okay kelsey.exe in one two three is the hash i mean it's not the small number it's a very long string but uh, 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 but he had modified it right so modify kelsey.exe now what will happen once he do the modification the hash is also going to be changed here so now the hash is here in the in the part here it is uh, it is let's say five seven six this is the hash has been uh, put it over here so now what will happen the thing is like this so he will this modify dot kelsey is going to be re-uploaded to the uh, to the internet right this is going to be re-uploaded on the internet and here so now what will happen the bob will come here in the path so bob comes up here this is our bob and he gonna download this kelsey i mean modify kelsey dot exe 
so he will download it okay from the source where it just had downloaded the thing uh, and from not the uh, from the from the not legitimate website he, he had just downloaded it so this is a download uh, modify lc.exe with a hash of 576 right so now uh, the bob computer has this modify kelsey.exe but now bob is very smart he is expert in cyber security he is not going to trust this modify kelsey.exe he will calculate the uh, hash of kelsey.exe and it will compare it so he go to the original legitimate website and he will find that kelsey.exe has a hash of 123 but uh, the modify uh, kelsey .exe has a hash of 576 so now there is a mismatch so when there is a mismatch you can see that uh, someone had uh, you know violated the integrity and someone had modified the kelsey.exe so i'm not going to install it in my, on my computer this is not good right so he will directly understand that this is not a good idea but if somehow he go to the legitimate website and download this kelsey.exe and uh, calculate the hash again if kelsey.exe one two three this is the original thing and he had downloaded the kelsey.exe uh, is also getting the one two three hash this is absolutely right i can trust on my source and i can say that things are right here i'm going to install it on my computer there is no problem in the in the program so hashing works like that and i'm going to give you a simple explanation here you see that uh, i maybe if i have uh, if i have let's say a file here uh, so let me take a folder here uh, here is a new folder. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna take a a text document file. So let's say test. I'm gonna say this is my first program. Okay, so this is the string I have in the uh, test.txt. I'm gonna close it, right? So let's uh, calculate the hash. This is my so the, I'm allies here and I'm gonna uh, upload this thing on the internet, but before that, I need to calculate my hash. So I'm gonna go to the uh, this analyze with file analyzer, which will give me some hash string. So, different algorithms available for hash. I do not have the complete tutorial on hashes, but please look after for the hash, you will get several algorithms. So, these are all hashes. So, you can see these are all hash uh, algorithms but i'm uh, let's say i'm gonna take a very simple one so let's say uh, this is the hash uh, md uh, this is okay to me sh256 so if let's say this one is uh, so this is uh, the hash for my test.txt right so i'm gonna take another uh, so this oh, i think uh, it had not copied the sorry i need to take the value so this is the thing and this is for test dot txt right this is the hash for my test dot txt now what will happen i again go to the test dot txt remember that i had uploaded this test dot txt with the uh, with this hash so i'm going i'm going to be like this uh, this is going to be uploaded to the internet now what will happen if some attacker comes up so he's going to open this test.txt and he will do a very slight change this is my first program uh, in udemy okay so this is the uh, this is the slight modification he had done i mean i can even if i write only i uh, that is also going to change my complete hash here so he is the, this is the done this is done by the attacker so i'm going to save it I'm, and I'm gonna close it right and now what will happen Bob will come Bob had this test.txt downloaded by the source uh, from the website and I'm gonna open it simply install it right but before that he need to calculate the hashes now uh, so he go to the test.txt and I'm gonna open the file analyzer once again I'm gonna close this one uh, I'm gonna open file analyzer you see that uh, I'm gonna again go to the hashes uh, and all selected so i had selected this one sha0 i'm gonna again copy it and i'm gonna see here that uh, this is test dot txt modify 
this is the bob hash you see that uh, these both these both uh, hashes are completely different so this is the real hash sh sh0 but uh, when bob calculate it, it is completely different now he will understand that my real uh, you know hash is this one and i am getting a complete different hash here that means someone in between had changed this test.txt and modifier had so I should not install on my computer this is a complete violation of integrity this is not a good idea so that in that way you know people generally are working uh, so it is not only calculation but you can you know use uh, such websites such as if i go to uh, this one uh, so if you go to the kali download here you see that uh, it's a good website because it is giving you the uh, you see here that it's good so there is an installer here and there is a hash here so once you download it, right, uh, once you download it, you know that this is the real hash. You, you need to calculate while you are downloading. Once you download it, before installing this Kali Linux, you need to calculate your SHA-256. If this SHA-256 same as yours, then this is a legitimate file. If it is not, then this is not a legitimate file. You, need, need, you do not need to install it, okay? You just have to delete it. So this is the way your uh, complete integration works. I hope... Uh, sorry integrity work i hope you like it uh, and uh, one last thing we have is uh, the availability and availability is a very simple term uh, availability says that uh, so um, it says that uh, that a person who needs the services uh, has to get the service okay even if it is uh, like uh, even if the services fail uh, then you need to recover it from the failure and uh, as soon as uh, you recover you give the service to the user availability says that um, no gap in between the you know uh, in getting the services so user uh, user can user can uh, what i can say uh, if th there is no gap in between you know uh, the failure so if there is a service like this if this is a service and if uh, user needs it uh, is requesting to this service then service has to reply it back and if somehow this service get crashed then there is there should be a copy of this service so that uh, you know you can give this service to uh, to this person uh, there is there is no gap in between you know this uh, request and reply so uh, availability says that so i hope uh, you like it integrity and availability uh, and thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next session